Hi guys, welcome to this video. We're going to install Arch Linux. So I went to archlinux.org download and you get this ISO that, as you can see, is getting over time bigger and bigger and bigger. It's not bloatware or anything, it's just getting a little bit fatter. But that's not a bad thing, it's just choices which packages do we want on the ISO and the ice the, the packages over time to just grow in size. As simple as that. So we all have to experience the fact that our ISOs are getting bigger. So 1.1 gigabyte and um, 0901, meaning every single month Archlinux releases an ISO and with that ISO you can install an operating system. And there are many spin-offs, uh, many other distros based on Arch Linux and all you can learn on Arch Linux. You can apply that in all of those guys. We're making this video for um, two things. A user saying that XFC behaves strangely, right? Simply put, uh, does not use right mouse click strange, strange behavior, right? So packages are built by users. Users can make mistakes and let's have a look. So I have a, cl an, a clone here in the virtual box, which I'm going to call Arch, right? Going to put the ISO in there. So I try to convince you guys that in the end, you can learn a lot of Arclix, but it is in the end all about the same thing. It's Arch. It's all Arch Linux. All the names you see here, it's basically Arch Linux and it's they can be proud about their distro which is okay which is cool respect right but it is in the end an arch linux based distro with apps and configs same as arch linux so in here is the iso arch linux and in here is version from september and then maybe a quick look at the settings that we have quick go over this is maybe something we can stop doing that because if you exit, you drag something outside of your window, then you get this pop up and then it's annoying. All right, so system, all the rest is good. Enable UEFI. All the computers you buy today are UEFI. So let's mimic the new guy. This one is on. All the rest is default, display to the max. VM SVGA, we do not enable 3D acceleration. That's a tip for the Wayland things, but even then, uh, Wayland's like Hyperland and Wayfire, those two, well, we'll have a trouble, well, behaving normally on a virtual machine at this point in time. We'll see what the future will bring. So we boot up with the Arch Linux ISO released a day ago. This is the choice we have. If you choose the arrows then it's slow it's sluggish right click 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 there seems to be some delay in it and we do not use the target links at some point in time the arch iso package changed and then we have this result this slower response so but it's okay right there's no issue there just use line number one and boot up And then we're going to use Arch install. So there is already a lot of information of uh, Arch install. I told you guys that I'm going to use um, Opera from now on for a year and see how it goes. So Arch install or Arch in Linux.org, that's where the ISO was. Arch install is an application that's on github anything that doesn't work you report here you read here if other people have issues uh, or uh, help with them and create a pull request and Arclex has a lot of info i think we need to go to the d.com where all the phases are right and at some point in time we teach you about Arch. So this is the video about Arch install. So 
lots and lots of things well it's it's a module it's it's choices all the time you choose whatever you like and here we have 42 videos so take a look at this number down here 42 videos all about it's this this script right how to get an operating system working let's just work with arch and then in, create it and change it into an arclex or endeavor os or anything you like right your own configuration you change it you choose in phase four we choose all the uh, desktops and the desktop i'm going to choose is dwm flexi the one i've created as a personal project july vacation time what should i do in my vacation time right so i've chosen to learn about c the language c dwm chat wm dusk all c so let's go for arch install by this time i've given pacman enough time why should i give pacman enough time to do this oops let's first get the keys in load keys pe latin was it with a hyphen or not I'm not sure uh, i think it was like that been a while okay. latin one like this with a minus that's a minus no that's a minus yes all right so i have my azerty keys system ctl give me the status of pacman in its service that's the thing that needs to be finished if you're too quick and this not finished everything will fail in the installation so he knows now what the keys are and uh, pacman key in it pacman key populate populate the keyring with the arch links keyrings that's it nothing else not Endeavor OS, not Reborn OS, not Arch The keys just for Arch. Arch Linux keyring, the package. So when that's done, we can start Arch install. And every time, right, it's a progress, it's a GitHub project. Every single time it's changed it a little bit in, well, choices in lines in options. So let's have a look again here. Arch install language, English, fine mirrors i'm gonna go for a slash like that sweden i think i need to go for mirror region first and then slash sweden and then enter okay and then back so that's defined escape we're back or like this back locale is defined us keyboard us not gonna be happy with that so be 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 latin one that's the one so local language english that's okay all the rest is okay for me the keyboard layout is enough the advice i give you to all of you is don't start changing it in your own language learn the terminology in English and you'll be able to search a lot more and ask ChatGPT and others AI you have the language there the technical words use best efforts all good for me so this is always enter what I'm doing x4 is my choice and that's it this encryption no bootloader sure system boot is okay it's my advice as well in virtual machines on maybe it's okay now but in the past grub didn't work on virtual machines so keep system d boot swap not really host name fine root password user account add the user he's called eric and that's the password and that's the password yes i want him to be super user confirm and exit profile type desktop arrow up xfce is the one i want xfce has um, been for seven years my backup most of the time been on plasma as well but i always kind of fall back to xfc because it's the parts the bits and, and, and bits uh, and parts of the xfce can be combined with so many tiling window managers and as you know i'm on one so we have graphics drivers we are here on virtual machine so it doesn't really matter here all open source is good 
The greeter is just what you like, LightDM, GDM, LightDM, Slick Greeter, Light and SDDM. As you know, SDDM is the default on Arc Linux, so we're gonna go for that one. Back, audio, choose, right? There's no wrong choice, just choose. With the Arch Linux Tweak tool, I can always change again to Pulse Audio, Pipewire, whatever I want. So choose what you like. Kernels, there's some choice here. Just keep the Linux, last seven years, no issues with it. Additional package, maybe, maybe fast hitch or something. I don't know if that exists, let's see. And then network configuration, very important. Use network manager, necessary to configure internet graphically in GNOME, KDE, and so many others. Time zone, slash Brussels, fine. And that's it, I guess. Let's install it. Let's see if, if the Arch install still works because it's a project, right? And sometimes in the past, it did not work, right? It's possible that there is an issue and then you get um, yeah, problems. Now, one of the things I forgot to do is go to etcpacman.conf because I, I see one line download each time, one line, and we can have parallel downloads in Arch Linux, but they did not do that, right? So control F2, I'm gonna show you. If we go for root, I guess, voila, and then nano etc pacman.conf. So the problem is that I have this hashtag in front of it, and I know that 20 is good for me. And then Control X, yes. From now on, it's saved. Control F1. If I will do a download later on, he'll know. He'll, he'll read again pacman.conf, and he says, "Oh, there are 20 lines parallel downloads I can do." But I should do that in the beginning, right? Before I launch Arch install, best thing is to say to Pacman, "Hey." It goes a lot faster the downloads, of course. Lots of an installation, right? There's some mistakes there. Error 70. So now the downloads went quickly, as you can see. It's faster. It's 20 downloads parallel. So speeds up things nicely. That's a good example, right? 167 downloads, 24, up, oh, there they are. All right, and then we don't want to shoot into your new thing, so no thank you, and then sudo reboot or reboot is enough these days. Well, reboot. And that's phase one. We have an operating system. We have system deboot here. And it's the default, default XFCE with SDDM. So choices will, you will need to make choices. Everything looks good. Maybe you think, hey, why is US? When I press enter, he'll know that it's gonna be BE quick. You, you could see it uh, very fast, but it was BE. So one of the users on our forum says, oh, I have a problem with XFCE, I can't say that I have a problem with it. But he did mention something about logout and login. So let's do that. And this next video will install something we like, right? XFC is there to just have um, some settings. We can also go to the display here and use the choice that we get, which should be this for me, apply. And now we're gonna keep this thing and voila. And the rest of this is all play, right? I mean, just go inside the settings manager, change it to the white that dark, maybe icons. There's nothing there yet. Fonts, not so much in choices. Source code is actually a nice one. Pro bold, why not? Select, make it bigger. Voila, and choose, right? Choose, choose how you would display your operating system. For the rest, um, I just keep 
pressing some buttons, check if everything works, everything is working. So whatever the user is experiencing on the forum, I wouldn't know, but everything works, right mouse click works. Um, the only thing that is daunting for many of us is drivers. So sound, sure, but not that many. Network, we hear some, um, well, problems, maybe not, eh? it's, it's always knowledge. What driver do I need for my hardware, for my motherboard? Uh, but wait, the, mo the thing we need to hear most is, is the driver for the graphical card, the AMD, Nvidia, but, and Intel, right? But the most one, all the time it's Nvidia this, Nvidia that, right? Intel and AMD are well supported. So we don't hear anything about that. But NVIDIA has a lot of questions, but it's normal that we hear a lot of questions. I mean, there is a lot of information out there about NVIDIA. And the, it's not, <laughs> bash completion is not installed. So there are so many choices you still have to make. So many choices indeed. So you can make your own decisions. That's the fun with Arch Linux, right? But um, once you've made all these decisions, maybe it's better to just make a script so you don't have to make the same effort next time after a clean install and just run a script. So this is what we have from Arch. But then there is also the AOR. There's a 340 and then a 390, I think, and 450, I think. Right, uh, me personally, I just need the NVIDIA DKMS. So no problem for me in the sense that I just install this one, which then adapts to the kernel I choose or the updating of the kernel. And that's that. So the next video will get cracking with the DWM version. I'll probably have to look what applications do I need to install more so I'll need to make a script to add those. And I'll show you where you can find the how to install, what are the dependencies, what should I do. All right, next video.